Hi everyone, welcome to the Nature Matters video lecture series offered by Postgraduate Department of English, Pioneer College, Pioneer. This lecture is based on the lesson Disaster Management, which is included as the seventh lesson of the textbook Nature Matters Readings on Life and Nature prescribed for the second semester UG English Common Core Students of Kano University as Course 2A03 ENG. I have divided this lecture into three parts. First part of the lecture deals with what is disaster and different types of disasters. Second part of the lecture deals with disaster management and mitigation. Third part of the lecture deals with questions and answers discussion. Let me begin the session by defining disaster. Disaster is an event or series of events that causes great damage or loss of life. In other words, disaster is an occurrence disrupting the normal conditions of existence and causing a level of suffering that exceeds the capacity of adjustment of the affected community. What are the different types of disasters? There are two different types of disasters. The first type is natural disasters. Natural disasters are disasters which are caused because of natural phenomena. Examples are cyclones, earthquakes, floods, droughts, landslides, etc. The second type is man-made disasters. Man-made disasters are caused by human activity. For example, leakage of toxic waste, dam failure, wars, etc. The chapter Disaster Management discusses floods, earthquakes, cyclones and landslides. As we all know, these are natural disasters. Let me begin by analyzing the table. This table is the summary of the first five paragraphs of the chapter Disaster Management. First one, floods. Prawn areas, Ganga, Brahmaputra, Meghna Basin. Causes, irregularities of the Indian monsoon. Seasons, June to September. Cyclones, Prawn areas, Indian Ocean. Causes, warm moist air over the ocean rises upward from near the surface. Seasons, between April and May and also between October and December. Droughts, prawn areas, arid or semi-arid areas, causes lower than average rainfall over a long period of time. No specific seasons, earthquakes, prawn areas, Himalayan and sub-Himalayan regions, causes sudden tectonic movements in the earth's crust. No specific seasons. Now. Let us move on to the second part of the lecture, Disaster Management and Mitigation. What is Disaster Management? Disaster Management is a multidisciplinary area in which a wide range of issues that range from forecasting, warning, evacuation, search and rescue, relief, reconstruction and rehabilitation are included. On the other hand, Mitigation. Mitigation means lessening the negative impact of the natural hazards. Let us move on to floods and mitigation measures. Flood is the most frequent type of natural disaster and occurs when an overflow of water submerges land that is usually dry. Now let us look at another figure and it's about different mitigation measures. Mitigation measures are divided into two, structural measures and non-structural measures. Structural measures include flood walls, flood bypass, watershed, rainwater harvesting and drainage improvement. Non-structural measures include flood forecasting, and warning services, disaster relief, flood fighting, public health measures and 
flood insurance next earthquake and mitigation measures an earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the earth resulting from a sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves the different earthquake mitigation measures are first one incorporating earthquake resistant features in all buildings at high risk areas second creating alternative arrangements to reduce damage to infrastructure facilities third one constructing earthquake resistant community buildings let us discuss cyclones and mitigation measures cyclones are warm moist air over the ocean rising upward from near the surface the cyclones mitigation measures are first one early warning systems second developing communication infrastructure third public awareness programs fourth developing community cyclone shelters fifth construction of permanent house sixth land use control and settlement planning let us move on to landslides and mitigation measures landslide is also called landslip the movement downslope of a mass of rock debris earth or soil landslides occur as a result of changes on a slope sudden or gradual either in its composition structure hydrology or vegetation the changes can be due to geology climate weathering land use and earthquakes landslide mitigation measures are first one reducing water pressure in the vicinity of potential breakage surfaces through selective shallow and subshallow drainage second one placing drainage in order to reduce water pressure in the immediate vicinity of the hillside third one preventing deforestation and improving afforestation let us move on to the last part of the lecture questions and answers discussion question number 1 what are some of the natural disasters india is vulnerable to answer the indian subcontinent is very vulnerable to droughts floods cyclones earthquakes landslides avalanches and forest fires question number 2 which coastline is prone to cyclones answer the eastern coastline is more prone to cyclones as it is hit by about 80 percentage of the total cyclones generated in the region question number 3 define disaster management answer Disaster management is a multidisciplinary area in which a wide range of issues that range from forecasting, warning, evacuation, search and rescue, relief, reconstruction and rehabilitation are included. Question number 4. What are cyclones? Answer. Cyclones are strong winds. they pick up energy from the warm water of the ocean and some of them grow into a devastating intensity question number 5 what are the guidelines for disaster mitigation answer pre disaster mitigation can help in ensuring faster recovery from the impacts of disasters mitigation measures must ensure protection of the natural and cultural assets of the community any mitigation program must also ensure effective partnership among government scientific communities private sector ngos and the society 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वॉट आर द कोर्सेस ऑफ फ्लैट्स एंसर फ्लैट्स कैन बी कोस्ड बाय नेचुरल और एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स आई द इंडिविजुअली और एस ए कंबेन रिसर्ट एंथ्रोपोजेनिक एक्टिविटीज सच एस डिफॉरेस्टेशन एंड शिफ्टिंग कल्टिवेशन कैन ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू फ्लैट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन मेन्शन टू फ्लैट मिटिगेशन मेशर्स एंसर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फ्लैट वॉल्स एस वेल एस मेन्टेनिंग वेटलैंड are two important flood mitigation measures question number 8 which are the most destructive natural hazards answer earthquakes cyclones floods and landslides are the most destructive natural hazards question number 9 Which parts of India suffer from adverse floods? Answer: The lower plain regions of India, in particular Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, and West Bengal, as well as the Ganga Brahmaputra basins, are badly affected by floods. Question number ten: How can we minimize the loss and destruction from natural disasters answer the loss and destruction from natural disasters can be managed by early warning systems careful planning and preparedness let us wind up the session thank you